San Quentin State Prison is where California sends many of its most dangerous criminals. From lifers who will never leave these high walls, to others like Anthony Alford, whose rap sheet has sent him to prison four times. Is yours flush across the thing, brother? I got attempted murders. I got assault with deadly weapons. I got uh, drug sales. I got, you name it, like I said, I done done a lot of different things. As good as California is at locking people up, it has had a harder time keeping men like Alfred from coming back. You gotta make them an inch wide. Seven in ten California inmates end up back in prison within three years of their release. We're gonna do it here. Uh, we're in here learning uh, the beginning steps of becoming apprentices in the sheet metal industry when we get out upon release, you know. The state has tried several programs, like this vocational training, to help inmates find work and stay out of trouble once they leave here. But Alfred has found another path he hopes will keep him from coming back. And let your eyes close. So this is the beginning of letting go of distractions. So releasing our... This is Alfred's weekly yoga class outside of ourselves and directing our attention and our awareness to the world inside of ourselves. James Fox is with the Insight Prison Project, a nonprofit that has been offering yoga classes at San Quentin for close to a decade. I felt from the very beginning that there was something about the tradition of yoga that wasn't like an exclusive practice for those people who could afford to take classes at a, at a yoga studio. The medium security H unit is not your typical dojo, but it's where Fox believes he can address a prison culture that he calls a cauldron of violence. Prisons are breeding grounds for violence, for uh, negativity. It's a lot, it's a lot every day. The whole stress with somebody telling you what to do from sun up to sundown to tell you when to eat, when you can go to the bathroom, when to do everything. Somebody's controlling your life completely. Most inmates here have anger and addiction issues, which Fox believes a yoga practice can address. A challenging yoga class involves self-control and self-discipline and developing impulse control, not reacting when you're in a difficult pose by getting out of the pose right away, staying with your breath and breathing through the difficult moments of a yoga practice learning how important the breath is in calming the mind and calming the body. For me taking yoga and other classes and so forth, I have definitely built on my tolerance and patience to where no matter what I'm going through, now I actually think before I react. I used to be a more reactional person to everything. Let your body and your mind settle into the Sphinx pose. When you're on your elbows and your hands are out and you're sort of up like this, you know, it's like, um, you know, just being still in the moment, you know. Robert Colbert finds Fox's class challenging, but helpful for coping in a prison environment where violence can erupt at any moment. There's the chance of violence at all times. Just being here, you know, and just finding the calmness and, you know, just getting a peace of mind. I think that's a big step for me anyways. On your breathing, feel the aliveness in your body. Feel the shift in energy that's taking place. From Bringing yoga to San Quentin was not an easy sell. At first, inmates told Fox yoga was for sissies. And oftentimes I would get whistles and catcalls because I'd be walking in with a yoga mat under my arm. Fox didn't back down. Instead, he found it a teachable moment and related the argument in a way the prisoners would appreciate and it gave me the opportunity to relate directly a yoga practice to what it really means to be a warrior. Fighting has very little to do with the warrior spirit. That the warrior spirit is really developing the mental, the emotional, the physical, and the spiritual discipline. Through that discipline, Fox tries to make these men realize that gangbangers are not warriors, but cowards. In many respects, guys come to understand the cowardice in the kind of uh, uh, violence that's being perpetrated on the street. Controlling impulses extends beyond the yoga class, especially in overcrowded prisons. And Californias are notoriously overcrowded. 
So much so that the U.S. Supreme Court has ordered the state to reduce its prison population by 33,000 inmates, or 25 percent. Alfred says the yoga has helped him cope with the cramped quarters of San Quentin. Even to be in this dorm at this point in time, uh, yoga has been a benefit to me. Whenever something irrational is happening, to be able to, to walk away or something, to, it helps on all different types of levels, mentally and physically. Traits that will also help Alfred cope with the outside world. He is due to be released in late 2012. My incarcerations have come from um, immediate negative reaction to things. There's a lot of different things that um, I can blame it on, on, on why I did it, but none of it is reality for what was just me reacting to every moment. I plan to get out and be a better father and a better husband, you know, a better family man, and just a better productive citizen in general. I plan to just be somebody that actually goes along the line of doing right and not so much wrong. But what about those lifers who will never step outside these walls? For them, Fox has a different challenge. Lengthen the right leg. Look they're basically the looking at the situation. This is their life. This is their life, and they're trying to get the, the most That's out still, of their life that they can. These men may never re-enter society, but Fox hopes by improving their lives, he can help change the culture inside San Quentin. And that takes compassion for those society has given up on. But everybody is worthy of redemption. If I looked at myself, or if I looked at my children, or if I looked at my brothers and sisters, my family, and I said, people aren't worthy of redemption, write them off. If somebody really makes the effort to make amends and to rehabilitate themselves, then they deserve that opportunity. Namaste. For Time Video, Sean Donnelly, reporting from San Quentin, California.